today has already started off unique and wonderful and beautiful and uplifting and encouraging and all the all the words when things work out the level of grateful gratitude joy peace i don't know it 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 definitely overflows for me and basically turns into tears and i smelled it and like immediately i was like oh that smells good <laughs> but i'm like no no it doesn't it doesn't actually smell good it smells like your addiction his decision to trust his own judgment has already piled up a fortune far greater than the next five generations of his descendants can squander mood Welcome to weekly vlog number 51. Today has already started off unique and wonderful and beautiful and uplifting and encouraging and all the all the words. I woke up to a message from one of my best friends. You know, just you know, just words of encouragement. He had been seeing my shorts and I guess, you know, felt overcome with the need to to share with me what he sees in me and I have to say, you know, that really started my day off on the right foot. Um, it was a voice note and I'm kind of sad because it disappeared. I didn't keep it because I was like replying to the message and I watched it disappear while I was typing. And I'm like, oh, oh no. But it went, I, and I told him this, I'm like, it went into my ears and straight to my heart. So the message is here with me. I just don't have the uh, the ability to listen to it a second time, but that's that's okay. <laughs> I still am riding high from the first time I heard it. <laughs> I don't know what my hair is today. I, pre I prepped it last night. So whatever this is, is from me attempting to think of a style for this morning before I went to bed last night. And we're just going to roll with it, to be honest. Because I don't really have the additional creativity needed to do something else right now <laughs> at the moment. I also don't have the time to be trying to do something that I may not like. And I already am like halfway satisfied with this, which is more than I can say a lot of the time. I'm not gonna lie, that's gonna have to do. I have a little built-in hair headband. Bobby Pitt is gonna hurt me just a little bit. I am surprisingly very warm right now, even though I don't have any sleeves. I am gonna be wearing a jacket, but it has my company logo on it, so I haven't put it on yet. But this top is so cute. I got this from my outfit online in that haul that I posted a couple weeks back, which for me, it's actually like, I filmed it like two days ago, but for y'all, it's gonna be like two weeks back in the catalog. So if you wanna see that, I will link that in the cards. But I got a lot of really cute stuff from my outfit online. This was a lot faster than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna take me more time to figure out what I was gonna do with my head. But it is currently 7.10. I need to make my coffee and my lunch Oh, and put fragrance on. I forgot to put on a fragrance. And then get to work. home i've been home for about an hour now lost a nail outside in my parking lot bringing my bags in oh, you, you can't even see them only a couple of bags but i was really trying to adjust my lunch bag and my work bag on my arm and like dinked my nail and it flew off so glad it came off clean no injury involved but that just looks so bad I'm trying to decide if i'm gonna redo that nail this evening or if I'm going to just leave it till maybe tomorrow. But before I actually get to the things that I got in my Target pickup order, I have two Amazon packages. They ordered them at the same time. They just arrived in separate packages. And these are actually camera accessories. We have a light. And this is 
it's called I didn't know that the thing on the top of your camera that can like hold things is called a cold shoe but I got a cold shoe adapter so that I can keep my mic like wind cover thing or have one and still be able to use the cold shoe to attach my light so we got both of these let's pop these open and see what they're hitting for so in the light box we have okay we got a little instruction booklet my camera's about to die but here oh charging cable it's USB C and then the actual light let's see does it have any juice oh it does what's it giving what's it giving I don't know. I know it's going to give glare in my glasses, kind of regardless. Oh, that's bright. That's the lowest lighting. Brightest. And there's temperature. I love a warm light. Oh, and you can kind of see, I guess, how charged it is on the back. Oh, let me turn this down before I blind myself. But there is, like, lights right here. Right now it has two notches, so it could use some charging. But we're going to put that on there and see if what kind of difference it makes. What I with my little slicey dude. Let's get this open. Hmm. And it's a little bit, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's probably good that I'm getting a new one of these because the one that I have now, like the wind cover thing, oh, and this one I think is definitely softer, but the one that I have on there now is matted. I wonder what the audio sounds like if I take this off. I'm going to take it off and show you what it looks like. <laughs> this is the one I just took off, and here's the new one. That looks sweet. I would pull my camera out and people would be like, what is that? What's on top of your camera? Baby, don't worry about it. <laughs> nah, this does look bad. I don't know what you're supposed to do to like, or if you're supposed to do anything to keep it from matting. Do you brush your microphone cover? That just seems very extra. Okay, which way does it go in? Well, the mic goes this way, so it has to go this way. Let's see. Okay. Oh, it looks like it looks like my my camera got a new wig. Okay. And now we're going to attach our lights. Ooh. Why is, oh, oh, okay. I got to screw it down. I gotta, I'm like, why is it? Why is it slide so it's That on my own mama's on my foot. Let's see. Okay, we have the light on. What if I turn this light off? How good is the light? Let me see warmer. My forehead is too sh I don't know. I guess it's better, but I feel like it's making me look very shiny. Dimmer, maybe? Is it glaring in my glasses? A little bit, but not as bad as the ring light, I don't think. But then I'm my own mama. Sorry, I just made a short and I put that song behind it, so now that song is stuck in my head. But this is a step in the right direction. Let's see what it looks like in my kitchen with the light on, because that's where things look like garbage. But then I'm my own mama. What do we think? Also, the camera is slightly higher than it usually is because I have like a second piece in between the tripod and the camera. Hmm. I think I see an issue with the angle because I have it like angled down because it's slightly taller. How am I feeling? The lighting is still not amazing. Well, it's probably better. What does it look like without? Oh! 
Oh, that's kind of a big difference, isn't it? Without. With. I still feel like it needs to be warmer. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I think, I think it's good. I think I'm going to have to edit the video to see how I really feel about it. But it's going to make me, I guess, look more at the camera lens because this light is right here. I feel like I can't really see in the monitor as well. But that's, hey, that's fine, I guess. Let's get to actually taking care of the, the purchases that I made from Target. Camera's also fit to die, but we got toilet paper. Cottonelle, I ran out of toilet paper in my bathroom. There's still toilet paper in the guest bathroom, but I like to keep both bathrooms stocked. It doesn't, I don't wanna have to go from one, if I'm running out of tissue in one bathroom, I don't wanna have to go to the other to get toilet paper. Some paper towels, a whole bunch of them this time. Usually I just get the four pack, but first of all, they had the deal where like, if you spent $50 on home stuff, you got a $15 gift card. So I got the big pack of paper towels because usually I just get the four. But at one time I have three paper towels going at the same time. One in the kitchen and one in each bathroom. So it just feels like it makes more sense to have more than four on hand because once I change all three, I'd only have one left. So we got us a big pack. This will last us a while. Then I got some plastic forks. Oh, is, that, is this gonna ruin the focusing? Maybe my light's too bright. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, dimmer. Interesting. I'm gonna have to play with the brightness of the lighting, but plastic forks, you really can't see that, can you? Huh, there it is. And if I turn the brightness up, can you see it? Now you still can if it's close, but it's like here. It's really gotta focus. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this messing with my focus because my camera focus is pretty good. I'm really gonna have to do the YouTuber hand with this light. But yeah, plastic forks because I haven't had a, I have spoons and knives and I really don't even have that many spoons, but uh, spoons and knives, but no forks. Or is it spoons that I have? I mean, forks that I have and no spoons. Camera's dying. One moment. All right, changed. Got some toothpaste. So I have recently fallen in love with the Crest Pro Health gum detoxify toothpaste, like just the gum detoxify. Come on, come on, here we go. Just the gum detoxify, but this is detoxify and restore. So I had never seen this, but when I was looking on target.com, like I just searched gum detoxify and then it showed me both. And I'm like, oh, well, let's see. Cause it says promotes the gum healing process from day one. I don't think I really have any particular gum issues. But it says it's prof professionally designed and it was like perfect, deep clean, you know, clinically proven. You know, it doesn't hurt to protect your gums because uh, your gums are what holds your teeth in your head. And I'd like to keep my teeth in my head. So, got a tube of toothpaste because I am literally like squeezing, pinching, squishing the mess out of my current tube of toothpaste. Also in the line of oral hygiene, got some more mouthwash. I always get the green kind. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the blue. I've had the blue, but, and I also need my toothpaste to burn, toothpaste, my mouthwash to burn. If it doesn't burn, it doesn't work. Don't take it from me though. You, you didn't hear it from me. That's just how I feel. And then I saw this while looking at the stuff, like house stuff to get to that $15 gift card. And this is washing machine cleaner. Like I've heard of washing machine cleaner, but I've never used it or seen it in the store. But I saw it on the, like on the website, on target.com. It's six pouches. I don't really know 
how it works. It says use once a month to maintain your washing machine. Keep track of your monthly cleaning. And it has like a little calendar on the side of all the months of the year. Hmm. Removes odor and residue. But how does it work? Does it have instructions or you just throw it in there? This is not laundry detergent, not for use with clothes. Makes sense. Six single use packs for maintenance. Use Tide washing machine cleaner once a month to help keep your machine fresh. Leave the door open after each use. If odor problem or visible residue already exists, use one pouch per week for three consecutive weeks following the instructions below. Then continue to use one pouch per month for maintenance. Instructions for any washing machine. Pour one pouch of Tide washing machine cleaner directly into your washer tub where odors it can reside. Ah, where odors and residue can occur. Two, for best results, run washer on on normal cycle. Select the hot water setting. Some foaming sudsing is possible and conveys the formula is producing a deep clean. Avoid using this product with any hot steam settings. May also be used in washer specialty clean out cycles. Residues found in washing machine from laundry soils, detergent residue, and water harshness and minerals. Oh, okay. Interesting. We gonna see, cause like, not that my washing machine doesn't, well really my dishwasher probably smells weirder, but I don't even use my dishwasher. It's probably just smelling weird from like, dishes drying in it but uh what a, the washing machine doesn't stink but i mean your i get your clothes are really only as clean as your washing machine is and i've always thought about cleaning my washing machine but just didn't know how or with what so when i saw this i was like you know let's give it a shot and see what it's like to have a clean machine what else did we get then i got after having a conversation with my mother yesterday about cleaning her oven, she told me I should probably have some oven cleaner on hand, and I did not. So I went ahead and purchased some Easy Off. See, the focus looks real good when it's focused, but when it isn't, it is very washed out. But I think I think I think I, I like the light because actually, if I move my face out of the way, it focuses faster. Love that. But yeah, got some Easy Off. This is the lemon scented. Is it lemon scented? Is that what it said? Yes, lemon scent. Heavy duty. Destroys tough burned on food and grease. I have never cleaned an oven, but I'm not opposed. And then I got some glass cleaner. I wanted to try something other than, excuse me, Windex. Because as a youth, we did, I, something to this effect was used in my house. Something that was more like a foam spray cleaner than an actual liquid so we're gonna see what this hits for street free shine ammonia free and this is actually lavender scented so you know good smelling cleaning products and then last but not least three gallons of water and that is everything that i got from target i did go to kohl's to return the like little makeup pouch thing that i had gotten from my friend cabriel who joined the sg row sorority and the colors were completely off and that don't fly so that has made its way back to amazon and my refund should be headed to my account i also looked in sephora because grant and i had talked about some a particular thing i'm not gonna say what it is because i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get it because they didn't have it but i wanted to get it for him as a birthday gift because his birthday is on friday but they didn't have it at this sephora so i don't know if i'm gonna make it to a real sephora but the Sephora and Kohl's low-key kind of trash. I mean, it has stuff, but it never has what I want, you know? So, I don't know. We'll have to go we'll see if we end up making it to an actual Sephora. But, um, what else? Oh, went to the bin store. Didn't find anything, but also they were closing. I walked in like 28 minutes before they were about to close. I kind of dug through maybe like eight bins there was probably like eight more that I didn't get to I was really hoping that they had the because they usually have a bin of like hair like wigs braiding hair all types of stuff of that nature and they didn't have that this time and I don't know if it's gone for good or what
but I was kind of salty. But I didn't get anything. It was the $2 day. That's why I went in. I have never been in on a day that cheap. So that's probably why there was really nothing good in there. And then, yeah, that's basically it. That's everything I did on the way home. And surprisingly, still made it home, like, right at 6 p.m., even though I got off work at 4.30. So now I think I'm going to bust open this package behind me. There. That is a package from my mom that actually showed up on Saturday that I didn't even, I don't think I showed you or talked about it because when I walked out the door to go to the hockey game on Saturday, it basically like was going to trip me on the way out. So I just brought it in and left and didn't really get to talk about it and also didn't get to open it. So let's open it right now. Oh, oh yeah, I think I'm really, really pleased with having this light because there is no way I'd be able to sit facing this direction without it. Oh, I want to cry. I told like when things work out the level of grateful gratitude joy peace I don't know it 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 definitely overflows for me and basically turns into tears so <laughs> let me flip this over so you don't see my address dang my that was kind of a expensive package to ship that's part of the gift is shipping it uh, $10.20 to ship this package. But these are my 12 days of Christmas gifts. I don't know if I explained that to y'all, but my mom typically does the 12 days of Christmas for me. She's actually done it, I don't know when she started. I know I, it wasn't like my entire life. It was might've been like maybe, up. I don't know, I was young. I was in grade school when it started. But since then, it's basically been every year. I don't think she's missed a year since she started. But she does the 12 days of Christmas for me, which is basically like a custom advent calendar of things of her choosing. I don't, it's not really like I have a wish list or like she's actually getting things that I've specified that I wanted. Because I don't really specify what I want. I just kind of let her pick what she wants me to have. And then she's covered it in tissue in in newspaper I should say we got the Menards paper we got Pet Supplies Plus Jewel Osco oh my goodness she put it in like a Santa sack that's so cute and there's just a bunch of other newspaper in here I'm gonna stuff the rest of this back in here move that out of the way I am probably gonna end up using this to take gifts back for actual Christmas. What does it say? Oh, it just says Merry Christmas. That's so cute. Okay, I'm really in love with this light. Like, I'm really in love with this light. I'm genuinely trying not to cry because this is just like, this is literally a game changer for me. Not gonna lie to you. Like, I'm literally, I can have any background I want now. I can sit wherever I want. I don't have to do my grocery haul right there anymore because now I have a light that just comes with my comes around the house with me. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's open this. Oh, look, and she actually put like bows and stuff. Huh, my mom is so cute. What a cute woman. I don't know, I want to show you the inside. Can I show you? Look at that. Okay, let's take things out. I'm going to put them under the tree. There is a bag. I don't think she numbered the days, but I can't start until Thursday. And she only sent me 10 gifts because I'll be home for number 11 and 12. So here's one, two. Oh, this one has some weight to it. Three. Ooh, ooh. Oh, is, are these? Do these go together? Oh, is, I don't know if these go together or if it just got stuck. I don't think it goes together. Okay. I think this is just supposed to keep this closed. If I know my mother well enough, that's the case. Loves a good sticker. Huh, two bunny from mom. Um, that's four. Here's five. That's the only one that has a to and from label on it. Interesting, so far. 
Oh, this one has one, but it just has two heart from heart. <laughs> two heart from heart. Okay. Six. Seven. This one has a hole in it. I'm not going to peek. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Eight. She put a little bendy Grinch on here. Can you see him? Oh, there he is. A little bendy Grinch. My stupid nail. These are actually um, souvenirs from my graduation ceremony. She gave. Because, you know, when you have a gathering of people intentionally, you kind of give a little, like a goodie bag situation, and those were in there. I don't know where mine went, though. So now I have another one. Little bendy Grinch. And that was number eight. So there should be Dos Mas. Looks like it. Number nine. This has some weight to it. I'm going to speculate that this is some sort of. Well, <laughs> that is a very obvious response. I was going to say it's some sort of tube, but it's like hard and round down here and kind of more softish up here. Some sort of lotion tube, maybe. Number nine. And number ten. Can't see it. Got a little bow. Little bow. Oop, get, get my face out the way. There it is. A little bow. Alright, we have our ten gifts here. First presents under the tree, and they're all for me. Oh my goodness. And this nice bag. She'll be getting it back. I'll bring my gifts in it and then let her have it back. That's so cute. Alright. What am I going to do with the rest of my evening? Probably call my mom, to be honest with you. We have been talking every day, basically. Except for over the weekend when I was quite busy. How was this folded? Like, I can see where it was folded. But I can't see the order, I guess. Oh, I think I got it. I think I might get it. I think I might have it. I don't know why I'm so angle about stuff like this. I like things to be folded back the way they were. Still don't think that's right. I don't know. This one, and then... Yeah, 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 yeah. Something is not making sense here. Oh, okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. That goes on the inside. No. Yes. And then this way. You can't even see what I'm doing. It doesn't matter. I'm just being very anal about the way this is folded. Because apparently this is how it was folded. I just followed the seams. Or the creases, I should say. Now we're just going to fold it one more time. Merry Christmas. I'm going to put it under the tree. Right there. Alright. Uh, uh, this is such a, a picturesque backdrop. I got my vinyls. Get the record player, the tree. Uh, oh, the joys of having a light. I'm going to call my mama though, so. I just turned the light off. Look at the difference. Like, you see me, but like, barely. Mm. Wow. What a difference a light makes. <laughs>head light on I really don't even need it so here's the light on over my head this is light off blind still open and light on the camera but no overhead light no light on the camera 
and it looks bright in here, but it's dark, so I need the light on. But I, I don't know. Lighting is such a weird thing. Good morning, though. I guess I don't really need the lights to take my vitamins, though. So let's do that. Wednesday. <laughs> oh, I caught it. Thank goodness. Almost lost my iron. Huh. Uh, what the heck? Now my nails are literally just leaving me. What is happening? But of course this part wants to stay on. Interesting. The other one came off clean, but that one left something behind. Not to flick y'all off, but lame. Lame. I don't even know how that happened. What did I do? It literally just gave up. Hmm. I wonder if I could get all of these off. I don't know. I don't want to do all that. Cause like, I really wanted my nails to be this color for Christmas. And it's looking like that's not going to be the case because I do not want to go through trying to do that powder thing again to get this color. That's so lame. Whatever. I was just about to potentially wash dishes even. I don't want to bring my computer in here. Probably. I don't know. My camera will be feeling crooked, but I don't, I don't know if it is or not. Let's see here. I put an organiz organizational shelf in my like dish cabinet. I had the shelf in the cabinet in my old apartment and I have no idea why I didn't put it in the cabinet here. Like I thought for some reason in my mind, every time I saw it, I'm like, oh, I didn't put it in there because it didn't fit. It fits. And it's kind of a game changer. Like, you see that? I can access paper plates, full size, regular plates, and like salad plates without having to move anything. And then the bowls just sit next to it. I have to put my other bowls away. But like, why didn't I do that from the jump? Like, what, what was the issue? I don't know what the problem was. Good grief. What did I drink out of this? Whatever it was, it's not clean. Interesting. I really have no idea what I drank out of that glass. Mmm. -hmm. Because I really only use these glasses when I have company. I must have been feeling different. I really am looking forward to editing this footage to see how much this light is actually making a big one. Because from here, it looks like it's making a pretty big one. Y'all tell me in the comments as well, though, do you see the difference? At least, like, especially in the kitchen scenes. Because, like, the lighting in this kitchen is very subpar as far as filming goes. Like it's fine for just living. <laughs> you want to record, you need a little extra help. I just sent my manager a message. Well, not just, but like before I came in, you know, sent him a message, but he hasn't opened it yet. So. I have a meeting in about an hour. make myself look like a human being. Yeah. 
I want to give this this here washing machine cleaner a shot. Let's see. Pack. Already on hot. Uh, mine doesn't say normal, but it says regular. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of smells like real strong. Like, I feel like it went in my lungs. We'll see how it does. decided that I'm going to start the process of taking care of my hair. I'm not going to actually wash it right now, but I am going to thoroughly wet it and apply this deep conditioner. This is the Melanin Hair Care Soaking and Strengthening Plumping Deep Conditioner because my hair is so dry that it's kind of scary. <laughs> I haven't, my hair hasn't felt like this in a very long time, but that's also because I've really been wearing my hair in its natural state recently. So it didn't really get the chance to get this dry, because this is a dryness that only occurs when my hair is natural. And by natural, I mean straight. I mean, like by natural, I mean not straightened, like not. Well, there actually was heat applied to this. I actually have blow, oh, excuse me. See, that's the issue. We are tangly. But I had blow dried my hair before I did. Ooh, not having this nail is really blowing me, actually. It does not feel very good. Scratching without my middle finger. Because it feel it literally feels like something is missing. It doesn't feel that way on this hand, because the pinky's on the end. This is the middle of my hand. Ugh, hate that feeling. But yeah, she is not. Doing so hot. Ooh. Oh, there's still bobby pins in my... When did I put bobby pins all the way up here? What is happening? Because my hair was like this. Oh, I think I did when I was pulling my hair back. I just stuck those in there because my hair was sticking up. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to like saturate my hair. Finger to tangle with this and then do some... Probably just some two strand twists to keep my hair separated and detangled. Kind of gonna follow something similar to what uh, I was gonna call her African Beauty, but Isi Meme Ideko. Um, African Beauty was her original YouTube name, and then she rebranded to her government name. I guess she is still Isi Meme Isi Meme Ideko because I think maybe she hyphenated her name because she's I guess her real last name now is Woodard. She's a married woman. All right, but I am about to do what I gotta do because time is ticking. I have to say, I have really been abandoning y'all for shorts, miss. I'm in the middle of making red lobster style Brussels sprouts. They're in the oven right now. I've been filming the entire process for a short form clip uh, or for a YouTube short, basically. I have my stuff over there. In this area to make the sauce for the Brussels sprouts. There's three minutes left on the oven. 
And I'm trying to figure out because I have these boneless, skinless, ice glazed chicken thighs or chicken thigh meat from Ch Trader Joe's. And I've had it for a minute. It's, it's completely unopened. I have not opened this bag. But I was just like actually reading it because I never did like take the time to read it. And it's saying you can cook this chicken in the microwave. And that's unsettling to me. I won't be doing that. <laughs> but you don't have to, like to cook it in the oven, you don't have to unthaw it. And that's very exciting to me because I did not unthaw anything for dinner today. So it's saying like, let's see. Preheat oven to 400 degrees, arrange pieces in single single layer in shallow oven proof roasting pan, cover tightly with foil. I don't know what a shallow roasting pan is. I have a cookie sheet. We're gonna see how that goes. And then it says bake for 20 minutes, remove foil, turn chicken over, cook 10 to 15 minutes more until juices run clear and pierce with a fork. Chicken, it, when pierced with a fork and chicken is cooked through it, blah, blah. If desired, frequently brush with barbecue sauce, fruit glaze, or other sauce turning over once during the last 10 to 15 minutes. I have no idea. I, my options for sauces are adobo and barbecue sauce. But like there's no way to like actually season the chicken because you're never unthawing it. And it doesn't, I don't think it really makes sense to put seasoning on top of frozen chicken. That does not make sense to me, but you never know. I just realized I tweaked. I was supposed to be making the sauce within the last 10 minutes of the timer and the timer's going off. So let me take it out and then make this sauce. Loki, I'm gonna put this chicken in the oven before I even start this sauce. All right, we're just gonna do two of these thighs. Still haven't decided on my sauce yet, though, so. My camera died while I was cooking and I never went and got a new battery. It is now 10 19 p.m. I believe when I was talking to you guys earlier it was like sometime in the five o'clock hour. <laughs> Many things have transpired since then. I finished cooking. I ate. I cleaned my kitchen. Like there's no dishes in the sink. Look at that. What else? Talked to my mom for quite some time. I actually realized that, uh, cause I'm like, where's my time going? Cause I feel like I'm not able to accomplish all the things I feel like I should be able to when I get off work now that I'm not distracted by social media. And I realized it's because I talk to my mom on the phone every day now. Whereas before I would talk to her most days, but not every day. <laughs> so I might need to either dial it back or not spend as long on the phone. Cause we spend a very long time on the phone. It's not necessarily a bad thing but it is hindering my productivity. <laughs> but it's my fault too, because I, I let it happen. Because I, we actually have been having really good conversations since I haven't been on social media. And she actually noticed that I uh, am more attentive because a lot of times when we would be on the phone, because my phone was in my hand, I'd be scrolling on social media while talking to her, which is obviously distracting. What else did, we, did I do since I left you guys? Oh. Made a huge mess. Cleaned it up though. I spilled my gyoza sauce all over the floor. Got some in the refrigerator because the refrigerator was open because that's where I was trying to put the bottle of sauce. And it also got all over my new My Outfit Online sweatpants. Thankfully it came out and they are currently hang drying in the laundry room. But yeah, had to clean that up. That was a mild irritant, but nonetheless. Actually it was probably a, you know, a good-ish thing because I like, wiped down my refrigerator and like mopped my floor but 
that was not on the agenda for this evening. <laughs> what else did I do? Oh, went through, actually took inventory of all the Christmas gifts I've purchased so far. I am basically done. Really, I just need to get my dad and... Is that it? Maybe my dad and maybe a couple of the other men in my family, potentially. But they're like in my family by marriage or relationship but you know we get we get gifts for everybody that that's a part of the family and if you're in a relationship with somebody in the family you're basically a part of the family so i don't know i'll see what happens on that front but what else what else did i do oh i so i told you i was making a short it ended up being two shorts i actually did a part one part two situation intentionally well intentionally while I was editing, I realized I needed to I needed to do it that way because there was no way I could fit the process of making the Brussels sprouts themselves and the process of making the sauce into one short. So there's a part one, which is actually, you know, seasoning and coating and then roasting the Brussels sprouts. And part two is making the sauce to drizzle atop and then actually drizzling and then the taste test. Ooh, I should have put hashtag taste test on there. Hold on. I wonder if I have enough room for that. Part two, hashtag taste test. 92, eight characters. How many characters is taste test? Probably more than eight. Ugh. Okay, what can I, what can I, we're gonna get rid of sauce, I guess. No, we don't need hashtag sauce. Okay, I have four characters to spare. Hashtag yum. Dang, can't even do that because I need a space. Okay, fine. Whatever. We'll just have extra characters. All right, is that everything I did since I last witnessed you all? Or since you all last witnessed me? Yeah, I guess so. I was supposed to actually edit some of the vlog this week because I did actually put all the footage together and I have ten and a half hours of footage. What the heck? How? How? And that wasn't even that I mean that was the first week of the fast so I guess maybe because I was bored I had the camera out more but I think a lot of it is stuff I'm gonna be able to cut because I know I filmed myself doing my makeup and doing my nails and both of the well the makeup was probably like 45 minutes but the nails might be like two hours but even so that only accounts for like three of the hours that's still seven hours of footage and i think i also recorded myself like reading for like 30 minutes but still that's still six and a half hours of footage my average i would say is anywhere from four to six hours of footage of raw footage for a vlog ten and a half is the most footage i've ever had so i don't know it might get a little hectic trying to edit that between tomorrow and Friday but I'm off work on Friday but Friday is Grant's birthday and we're going out at 8 30 though so I have basically all day but there's so many other things I want to do uh, now that I've organized my I don't, I don't even think I showed y'all I organized my laundry area so up here i don't know if y'all remember what it looked like but now it is much more organized and i even changed the order of things oh that's another thing i did uh since sorry if it's loud in here that's another thing i did since i left y'all is i uh removed all of my nails so we have naked fingers but yeah so we have this shelf up here organized and i actually so I had this shelf empty and I emptied this shelf. I moved my cleaning supplies from under my sink to down here. My water has always been there. And then garbage bags used to be on this shelf along with that bin and those tissues actually. And this bin used to be here. So I've kind of just consolidated. There's my paper towels, but I got consolidated to a point where I now have more space than I did before even though I've moved some things in here that were not originally in here. I just set these here this after or this evening, because I did this yesterday. I did this organization last night, but this evening, these cups were just sitting on my counter 
and I was tired of looking at them, so I just set them right here. I'm going to end up probably actually storing all of my like extra cups and stuff in here, but I will get something to put them in. They won't just be sitting on the shelf like this, I don't think. So since I've started that level of organization, hold on. I want to continue. Like I want to do my kitchen for real so that way I can actually utilize those shelves because I think I'm going to end up putting like my baking stuff in there because I don't like reach for it all that often and it does take up quite a bit of space in my cabinets. So we're going to see how that goes but those are the types of things that I have the mind to do but uh, my time seems to get away from me. Now I will say actually organizing my pantry last night, pantry slash laundry room, I did on the phone with my mom. Like my mom was on the phone while I was doing that. So like there are some things I can do while she's on the phone, but it's the editing is the thing I cannot do while she's on the phone. So that is something I'm going to have to take care of tomorrow. Otherwise I will be drowning trying to get the vlog up on Saturday. Am I doing anything Saturday? Oh, I, I keep thinking that I'm busy on Saturday, but it's not me that's busy on Saturday. It's Grant. <laughs> I, I keep feeling like his plans are my plans because I'm excited for him because he, I told y'all know he does jujitsu, but Saturday is the promotions and I, I am of the mind that he will be being, becoming a purple belt on Saturday. Like he doesn't know, like technically I don't know either because he won't find out, I guess, until the day of. But I'm fairly certain he's going to get promoted to Purple Bill. And I'm excited for him. So <laughs> that's why I keep feeling like I have plans on Saturday, but I actually don't. So maybe this weekend will actually be productive. That's kind of exciting for me. Oh, I know why I feel like I had plans because me, my, my cousin, Bobby, we had talked about her coming out here this weekend, but I think one of the babies is sick and she just got back from being out of town. So I don't think that's happening this weekend, but we haven't really talked about it, but it's probably not the best timing for me either. I, I, w I would like it to happen because we wanted uh, our younger cousin Leah, she uh, Leah, I think Leah Pia on YouTube, even though she doesn't post anymore, maybe she will one day eventually again because she was really good out the gate like editing game editing game stronger than mine i'd have to say she was but we want her to come out here too while she's on winter break and she goes back i think uh january 6th maybe so time is winding up because it's the 13th december 13th christmas is next week new year's is the week after that that's crazy. It's 10.30 p.m. though. I need to probably get in the bed. This is the, a top from my outfit online. I don't know if I told y'all that, that that's what I was wearing. But this, I think I'm actually going to sleep in it. I didn't intend to, and I don't want it to be pajamas. Like, this is going to be a real wear-out-of-the-house shirt or top or whatever. But, uh, it's giving comfort. <laughs> it's giving go-to-bed. That's what it's giving. Oh, and I wanted to read, uh... Dang, because I'm on a chapter in Think and Grow Rich where like it's about to give me another self-analysis and usually like that, when I read the last or went to the last self-analysis, I got to the end of it and he was like, after you're done reading, go back and reread it and actually write down your answers. But I wrote down my answers the first time I read it. So, <laughs> and I would like to do the same thing with this one because I'm on the chapter that talks about, I think they called it the six... Some, something about the six fears, the six worst fears, the six something fears. But it's like the fear of poverty, the fear of ill health, the fear of loss of love of someone, the fear of criticism, the fear of... There's two more. The fear of... Oh, old. the fear of old age and the fear of death six fears those are the six fears and there's there's going to be some sort of self inventory that i haven't gotten to yet because i saw it coming while i was laying in the bed reading last night and i'm like okay i'm gonna pick up on this tomorrow and tomorrow has come and gone so i guess i won't be reading that tonight because i'm so close to being done i think i have like maybe 
20 or 30 more pages and that's kind of sad to me because I've really enjoyed reading that but maybe I'll read something else I need to actually I have kind of slacked up on reading the 30 day money cleanse technically I'm still in week two so if I finish reading week two tonight I guess I'd still be on track but that just means I'm not actually following the cleanse which honestly I'm not this is not the best time for me to be trying to follow that strict budget given that I am shopping for Christmas <laughs> so I don't know maybe that is what I'll read tonight whatever all right I will oh, I wanted to potentially rinse my hair well I actually wanted to shampoo my hair so many things on my to-do list good night hey y'all good afternoon it is 12 24 p.m i just went on break and heated up my can you see them they're sliding leftover brussel sprouts never thought i'd say that in my life but these are so good <laughs> if y'all haven't seen the short on how i make these or how i made these I'd check it out if you have an interest in a delicious Brussels sprout. Now, if you don't, hey. Yeah, these are really good. I'm actually kind of mad that I went my whole life thinking Brussels sprouts were nasty until like this year. Boiled Brussels sprouts are nasty. Basically, any other way of preparing them. Fire. Boiled or steamed, I would say. I think those have the same effect. Roasted. Bangs. Seasoned. Bangs. I guess I should add that. They were boiled and unseasoned in my childhood. Very unfortunate experience. But this is making up for it. Why is it 12.29 a.m.? And I'm just now getting up from my desk. Like, I mean, I did take, like, I probably was not editing for about two hours this evening. One hour on the phone with Jaslyn and one hour on the phone with my mom. But literally since 4.30, I have been editing. It is now 12.30 in the morning. I've been editing for at least six hours. And I still am not done. Like, there are still two fully unedited, unviewed hours of raw footage that I need to get through. And the vlog is already like two hours and 45 minutes. Thankfully, there are two like 40 minute clips where I'm not really talking. It's me doing my makeup and then me being very irritated trying to connect the outdoor smart plug I got for my outdoor Christmas lights. So a lot of that is going to be cut down probably to maybe makeup max probably five minutes and then the smart plug max probably two minutes if that so that's gonna be you know kind of speed things up but that having two and a half hours of footage is by no means ideal especially when i've i haven't i don't i wouldn't say i've procrastinated i don't know why i haven't edited it at, at all earlier in the week i mean i did I guess I technically started yesterday, but all I did was put the footage together. I didn't try to edit, even though I know I needed to, but I think it's because I ended up on the phone with my mom. Was that what the problem was? I don't flip it now. I did do open my 12 days of Christmas gifts. I feel this light is a little bright. Um, I don't want to say um, because I'm going to have to edit that out. I've been editing my ums for the last eight hours, but... I opened my 12 days of Christmas gift day one from my mom and this was it. If you would like to see my genuine initial reaction, I will link the short right here, but I am going to film me opening and reacting to the gifts every day. So that is going to be my, my daily short from here on out. I might, if I feel so inclined, post more than one short in a day now since I'm going to be doing the unboxing every day but 
I'm not gonna hold myself to that. If I'll, if the only thing I put out is me opening the gift for my mom, that's fine. Cause I, it's a shorter day, <laughs> and that is good enough for me. Let me take my little bedtime vitamin ace and go to bed. What's today? Oh, today is Thursday. Lord have mercy. Oh, I gotta tell uh, Alexa to turn my alarm off for tomorrow because I'm off work. That's crazy. I already had to pee and with every sip of water I just took, I felt the pee need intensifying. <laughs> but yeah, off work tomorrow. So I'm sleeping until I wake up, basically. Because I did not anticipate, intend, or plan on staying up this late. And I haven't even, I didn't even get to read. I'm still, I have my my book here because I actually read a passage out of it to my mom because she was talking about something that reminded me of something I read and I wanted her to hear it but if you can see there's my bookmark this is the beginning of the book the front and that's my bookmark I am very close to the end but I like I said there's I still haven't gotten the chance to sit down and write because I know it's about to ask me some questions I think yeah definitely questions happening here self-analysis test questions I can probably read like two more pages and then yeah then the questions start would you like to hear them you want me to can I read to you I wonder can you get a copyright for reading well I'm gonna cite my source think and grow rich the complete classic text by Napoleon Hill <laughs> this is the chapter called how to outwit the six ghosts of fear and this is the section titled, How to Protect Yourself Against Negative Influences. Mind you, I'm reading this for the first time as well. To protect yourself against negative influences, whether your own, whether of your own making or the result of the activities of negative people around you, recognize that you have a willpower and put it into constant use until it builds a wall of immunity against negative influences in your own mind. Recognize the fact that you and every other human being yeah, every other human being are by nature lazy, indifferent, and susceptible to all suggestions which harmonize with your weakness. Weakness is. Recognize that you are by nature susceptible to all the six basic fears and set up habits for the purpose of counteracting all these fears. Recognize the negative influences often recognize that negative influences often work on you through your subconscious mind therefore they are difficult to, de to detect and keep your mind closed against all people who depress or discourage you in any way clean out your medicine chest throw away all pill bottles and stop pandering to colds aches pains and imaginary illness deliberately seek the company of people who influence you to think and act for yourself do not expect troubles as they have a tendency not to disappoint. Without doubt, the most common weakness of all human beings is the habit of leaving their minds open to the negative influence of other people. This weakness is all the more damaging because most people do not recognize that they are cursed by it, and many who acknowledge it neglect or refuse to correct the evil until it becomes an uncontrollable part of their daily habits. To aid those who wish to see themselves as they really are, the following list of questions has been prepared. Read the questions and state your answers aloud so you can hear your own voice. This will make it easier for you to be truthful with yourself. So I'm not going to read the questions because I want to answer them, I guess, out loud, but also write them down. Maybe I'll film myself while I'm going through them, but I don't know if I want y'all to know my answer but hey we are transparent and I don't know what the questions are we could get a little we could get a little deep I don't know I don't know if I'm going to share my answers with you but I will read you the questions if you would like to know what they are and also I realize that that passage that I just read might be a little jarring given that you haven't read the rest of the text but like that's very on par for the course because like even that throw out the pill bottles thing like you know if you are the type to feel like because there's a there's a part in here about what is it Hy hypochondria like that is an illness of the mind because you think you're sick therefore you feel sick but you really aren't sick 
that's kind of what he means by that. He's not saying, like, if you have an actual illness, don't tend to your actual illness. Just saying, like, you know, if you have some very minor symptoms or what you think are symptoms, but you have confirmed that they are not actual symptoms of anything, that they might be a mind game, maybe, potentially. A, your mind playing tricks on you because negative influences i don't know i don't want to sit here and try to explain what i just read i maybe you can in in the comments if you are you know if you've made it this far let me know what you think of the passage i just read and how it struck to you or let me know if you've ever read this and you know how that struck you when you read it but i will say given that i've read the majority of this book that part does not trigger me or make me question the philosophy in any way because it's par for the course but I am going to bed because it is almost one o'clock in the morning see y'all tomorrow hey y'all it is 12:55. is that really the time it is or is it 12 56 12 I have been up since like not well a little bit before nine actually i think i got up at like 8 45. i've been editing all morning i just took like an hour break and actually took a nap and now i'm about to eat i just made myself a chicken sausage egg gouda sandwich with strawberry jelly because i think i made my eggs too salty because i accidentally had the uh skillet up too high <laughs> when i was cooking them so i had to season real fast and i was just shaking it might have shook a little too much. Melissa was hitting what it's hitting for. Pardon me. The jelly helps. It balances out the salt. I also have never had this chicken sausage. Because when I bought it, I got it from Trader Joe's a while ago. And it's in the freezer. But like right after that, I stopped eating breakfast because I was inter intermittent fasting. And when I'm not eating in the morning, I really don't crave breakfast food, but I woke up from my nap, actually to a phone call from one of my besties. And I'm glad he called because if he hadn't, I was probably going to keep snoozing and keep napping. And then I would have been mad when all of my time was gone. So I woke up and walked to the kitchen. I'm like, I'm hungry, but I don't know what I want. I saw the chicken sausage, which I'm going to show you. I don't get the thing off, but it's Trader Joe's chicken breakfast sausage patties. Um, yeah, chicken raised with an no antibiotics ever, no added hormones. Fully cooked, just heat and serve. So, yeah, I did this on the skillet. And then while I was making the sausage, I'm like, I want more than just sausage. So then I started, I pulled out the eggs. Once the, the sausage came off the skillet, put the eggs on. Hey, put some toast in the toaster. And I'm like, you know what? We're going to make a sandwich. The cheese and the jelly was a late addition, but a good one nonetheless. This sandwich is kind of heavy, though. I'm really kind of like... I want to use the word unsettled, which is crazy because me and Jasmine were using that word last night. But I actually do kind of feel unsettled today because there's so much I want to accomplish like first of all I need to finish editing this vlog which I fully edited edited it I've made it through to the end and I've kind of started circling back and doing like the extra stuff that I do you know in my second round of editing but it's a, it's three and a half hours long so like the second round of editing is probably going to still take me like four hours but the, the video needs to go up tomorrow but because it is so long it needs to be exported probably before I leave the house to go out for Grant's birthday and I need it to be like uploading into YouTube at that time as well. Because if I start that upload tomorrow, it probably won't be up till Sunday. But I'm hoping that's not true. And maybe it'll just up, it'll upload quickly. Because sometimes it surprises me. But for long vlogs, something about my connectivity in this house, it it's a little iffy. But then I also want to do my hair. Like I would, I y'all saw that I detangled and deep conditioned even though technically the deep conditioner is still in my hair, but it's just dry. But I did, I never got the chance to shampoo, and then I wanted to do mini twists, and I haven't gotten the, I don't have time. 
until tomorrow but I would like I wanted my hair to be done tonight for when I go out because I don't have plans tomorrow which is a good thing when it comes to trying to accomplish what I need to accomplish but yeah, it's just my uh, distribution of time is not in the most optimal arrangement right now <laughs> not to mention I still want to you know do my decluttering and organization in my house Definitely need to start wrapping Christmas gifts. I don't even think I showed y'all what the pile is looking like, but all of that under the table is bags of Christmas gifts. Like those all need to be wrapped. There's quite a bit of work ahead of me. Shorts are such an interesting thing. It's like they pop off for like two seconds, like in the middle of the, usually like early morning, and then. It's basically dead for the rest of the day after that. <laughs> like no no action. Is that when people watch shorts when they wake up in the morning? Because like it's usually between like midnight and 5 a.m. is when the shorts that are going to perform, perform. And then after that it's like, nope, that's it. But I mean, I'm not mad about it. As long as it does perform, that's cool. But after that, it's kind of just slow going. I say that because my short last night of me opening my mom's 12 day of Christmas gift for me. It did reasonably well in comparison to like my other shorts. But it happened in the middle of the night. One of my mom's Christmas gifts is supposed to be arriving today. Like soon, supposedly. And then I have a package arriving on Monday that's a secret Santa gift. But I still need to get my dad. Like I basically still need to get men, period. Like I haven't really bought any men's gifts. I'm trying to decide do I want an energy drink, but I'm kind of turned off by the fact that they're both orange. Like I have two of these, but they're both the orange flavor. And then I have this amino lean and this is blood orange. I don't know. Maybe I'll do this. What's the difference? What's the caffeine content on these? 200 and this is I think this is 202 oh yeah yeah they're both 200 milligrams so I guess it really doesn't matter oh it says that on the back too 200 milligrams of caffeine I don't know I guess I'll drink the amino lean since I don't know what that would taste like I'm trying to think if this is a good idea because if I go out I mean I am going out tonight but if I'm like out at a bar or something to that effect I am liable to drink a Red Bull if I'm not drinking alcohol just to kind of you know <laughs> give me a little quote-unquote crackhead energy <laughs> because you know I still like to be energetic and like I like to match energy and you know caffeine kind of has a good way of helping you match the energy of people who have been drinking I guess I don't know I'm not saying drink caffeine in lieu of alcohol I'm not saying drink either, actually, because they both have their their cons. Why can't I open this? I don't want to break my nail. It smells pretty good. Mmm. Tastes pretty good, too. It's weird because I can see that it's clear but it doesn't taste clear. I really need to finish editing though. I think I'll feel a lot more settled once that's done. Which realistically, mm -hmm. I was gonna say I could be done now and just put music over it and export it, but that doesn't sit right with me. And it's too long for me not to try to, you know, double check and like proofread. Be done left something in now, I want y'all to see. I'm kidding, I don't think there's anything in there. I don't even think I changed clothes in this one. <laughs> I just did a whole lot of talking, a whole lot of showing you stuff. A whole lot of hauls and things. Oh, 33.3% is the average percentage viewed. Average percentage viewed of my last short. 333. Yeah. So far, my most viewed short of Shortsmith has been the, not gonna lie, that was fire. Uh, ASMR, trying the mustard and cottage cheese hack snack situation 
that one did did the most numbers thus far. Hmm. I'm getting full. It's a good thing, no? Because I was hungry before I laid down. Because I laid down for my nap at like 11.48. Because I'm just like, you know, I can't eat till noon. Or I'm not going to eat until noon. So I might as well shut my eyes and speed it up. <laughs> I wanted my first interaction with y'all to be going through the, the questions in Think and Grow Rich. But my first interaction today anyway. But I haven't gotten a chance to do that yet. And it's already after 1 o'clock. I'm really trying to establish what my priorities are. And the vlog is a priority for me. I don't want to fall behind on that. Especially so close to the one year mark. It's like, come on now. Can't start fumbling now. I will say, excuse me. I, I was going to say like I miss my youtubers that i watch or whatever like i miss watching their content which in some ways i do but i think it's more so just out of nosiness like what are they doing what what have they tried that i could try what's you know what's what's tea what's new what's popping because i don't even know i'm completely in the dark of, about all social media over the last two weeks like people could have kicked the bucket you know could have been some scandals you know <laughs> and i know nothing about them completely unaware but I mean it's clearly not affecting me so it's probably you know a good thing that I am unaware or at least a very neutral thing <laughs> that I'm unaware but there's a lot less once you actually stop being on social media the FOMO kind of disappears because like the FOMO shows up when you know that there's something to mow on you know but, if, you know, you can't miss out on something that you don't even know is there. <laughs> Unless you just generally feel like... If, if you're inclined to generally feel like you're just overarchingly missing out, then you might feel a little bit of FOMO. But, like, I don't really have a reason to feel like I'm missing out on anything because nobody around me really talks about what's happening on social media. So maybe that makes a difference. Unless it's like me talking to my mom. She's like, oh, did you see the, the snap from Bobby or Nisha or Tamara? Or, it's like... No, I didn't see it. And then I'm kind of like, dang, I am kind of missing out. I'm not getting to see all the snaps of my babies and stuff. But that's literally it. And I could just go see my babies. You know, I don't need social media for that. But it is... <coughs> Excuse me. I do know that I'd be missing out on stuff like that. And that actually is usually my biggest drawback to leaving social media is missing updates from the kids in my family. I know the first week of the fast, which is what I'm editing right now, I thought that I didn't vlog very much and it ended up being a ten and a half hour worth of raw footage vlog. But I kind of, pardon me, I kind of feel that way now. Like I feel like I didn't vlog much this week, but I don't know. Like I don't really remember what I showed y'all other than yesterday. <laughs> And really, all I remember from yesterday is last night. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know how long this particular vlog is going to be. I don't know how long last week's vlog. Like, the vlog that I filmed last week is hopefully not ten and a half hours. Because that is ridiculous. I don't know why. This is a good sandwich. I tried it with a little less salt on the edge. But other than that, the sweet and salty is hidden. I also tried... <laughs> My mom, well, I showed it to you last night, but I tried the buttery herb seasoning on my eggs too. So I don't know, that might also be contributing to the saltiness, but like the flavor is good. I probably should be stretching too. Ugh. That's another thing, I want to use my wax kit. Don't really have time to take the time to sit down and wax myself. I know it's not going to be a quick process. And I don't want to accidentally make a mess. I want to be very deliberate and intentional and focused when I'm doing it. But I feel like I don't have the time, really. I don't know. I have a feeling, though, that... Because I, I have not committed my time to anyone for tomorrow or Sunday. And in theory, there will be no editing that needs to be done other than shorts. So I'll really be able to focus on myself. And because editing this vlog, I felt that way that weekend as well and then I ended up needing an oil change that took me out of the house for like three hours so this time I think I'm actually going to have time 
in the house to do what I need to do in whatever way I need to do it. And I'm looking forward to that. I guess part of that is probably making sure I'm not out too late tonight so I actually wake up at a reasonable time. But I did offer Grant to DD for him since I'm not drinking. And it's his birthday. But I don't know. He said he'd think about it and he never told me what he thought about it. <laughs> DDing would extend my time out because I'm not going to leave till he's ready. So if I do DD. It's crazy because this is actually my first time ever offering to DD. That's usually not my MO. Usually I would like to be DD'd. I'd like to be the DDE, not the designated driver, the designated drive E, the designated passenger. <laughs> but since it is a guarantee that I will not be drinking, I will drive if need be. I'm so full and I only have like one bite of this sandwich left. <sighs> I think the energy might be energy. And I haven't... Hold on. I am drank about that much. This pan is so, so non-stick. I'm in love. I want to wipe it out though, because there is some egg in here. And you see me getting distracted from my last bite of sandwich. Here we go, let's, let's just, bottoms up. Ugh, I love that. You can see the little particle stuff. You can't even really see it, but like, they just wipe right out. Ugh. Mm. I'm in love. Uh, I love this pan. Uh, and I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure it stays non-stick like this. Nothing abrasive. Nothing metal. None of it. When you eat something as a sandwich, it seems like so much less food. But I literally just ate two eggs, two sausages, two pieces of toast, a slice and a half of cheese. That's a lot of food. Like, if you were to lay that on a plate... That is a lot of food, but it went down as a sandwich. All right, I'm going to try to knock out the rest of this editing. I really hope I will be done. It's 1.19. My goal is to be done by 3.30. We'll see what happens. I said 3.30. It's about to be 6 o'clock. I am exporting the video now though. I kind of just had to call it quits because I could have kept going, but I don't have time. I have to get ready. I have to get ready to go. I have literally been editing all day. <laughs> it's my fault. I mean, not my fault, but like, you know, this is kind of what I signed up for, but 10 hours of footage is bananas. That over 10 hours of footage is bananas. And I hope I never do this to myself again, unless it is for amazing cause because i mean not that it was like not good cause for this vlog but like most i mean almost all of it was in the house i mean <laughs> i did i did cook and that took a decent amount of time and i wanted to you know it was a pretty intri intricate meal so like i showed every like everything i was doing but i don't know i don't know honestly i don't know how i'm lying i know how it got that long because she talks a lot that's how it got that long Okay, but I can't keep talking to y'all because I need to get in the shower. I need to film my short unboxing, uh, my second day of Christmas gift, and I need to get out of the house because I need to leave the house by 8. So I have two hours to do everything I need to do, and I still don't know what I'm doing with this. Like, I guess I'm just going to go like this, to be honest. Like, this is not ideal for me, but it's also not completely unkept. <laughs> so... I don't know. We'll see what happens. I will catch y'all when my life is intact. All right, I'm getting ready to head out. I don't even know if I can back up far enough. Here's the fit. Got my newest pair of shoes on. It is currently 8.02. The place is like 15 minutes from me, but we need, it starts at 8.30. We need to be there 10 minutes early. So I'm going to head out now in the interest of being timely. This is, you know, got the skinny jeans 
This is one of the tops from my outfit online. This denim jacket is hand-me-down from my dad. And yeah, I think that's, that's all I got for you. I'm not carrying a purse. Everything I need is inside these flaps, which are basically a pocket, but it's actually the lining for the pocket. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's it. I don't know how much you'll see this evening because, you know, I'm actually, we're playing a game, so I'm sure I won't really be able to vlog, but catch y'all later. currently 3:28 a.m. We actually left the bar at like a little bit before 2 cuz it closed at 2. But Grant was a little lit. <laughs> and I kind of just like we just kind of sat in my car until he was in a better place to drive home cuz I think I told y'all that I offered to DD but he didn't take me up on that offer so we were in separate cars. And we weren't going to just abandon one of our cars. But we really, I, I would say we, it was, you know, a good thing. It went, it was a good thing that we were, you know, we had that opportunity because we had a really good conversation, like a good discussion, I would say. Also, I've come to the realization that like, I think maybe you can get secondhand drunk because like, I did not drink. I actually showed y'all a drink that I had at Tapville, which is the restaurant we went to after Whirly Ball. We actually had stopped at a pub before that, but they didn't have anywhere to sit. And there was a couple people in the group that wanted to eat. And I ended up being one of those people. But, uh, you know, that was not an alcoholic drink. That was an Arnold Palmer. <laughs> that was iced tea and lemonade. But they put it in a glass that made me feel like I was having a drink. Yeah, I did not drink anything tonight. And on my way home, I had a craving for McDonald's like I was drunk. And I'm like, what's happening here? Am I drunk by proxy? What happened? Did it get in my skin through osmosis? I will say I definitely inhaled some things that I shouldn't have inhaled. Actually, I had a moment uh, at, where were we? Where were we? I don't think it was high. Oh, it had to be like, I think it was Lantern, maybe. I think that, that was the place we were at. But there was a guy hitting a vape that was the flavor that I usually go, well, that when I, you know, vaped, it was mint. And I smelled it and like immediately I was like, oh, that smells good. <laughs> but I'm like, no, no, it doesn't. It doesn't actually smell good. It smells like your addiction. <laughs> But that was really weird for me because that was the first time I had smelled that smell since I stopped vaping. Because for some reason, mint isn't a very popular flavor, but all the other flavors to me, like I wouldn't be able to eat if I was like vaping a strawberry milkshake or like orange cream sickle or something like ew. Mint was kind of just like, like gum or toothpaste or a mint, you know? Made you feel like you had fresh breath. Oh my neck. Oh, my nail is broken really bad. I don't know when that happened. I should get a nail clipper, but instead, I'm biting it off like a not smart person. Mm, do I have a nail clipper nearby? I feel like if I walk over there, you're gonna see my butt. Is it in here? My nail file is. I might just have to do like my whole nail just like said sayonara. I don't even know if you can see that. That's very unfortunate because I intended to do my nails at some point this weekend. And now I'm going to have to put probably a tip on this one. Because my nails are like just long enough that I could have gotten away with painting them without them looking nubby. Now this one is literally a nub. That's all right. 
also came in, really thought that my video would be done exporting, but this time the export froze. I've never had that happen. I've had the upload into YouTube freeze, but my export, I left the house and it was on 44%, walked in and it was still on 44%. And that was, oh, it's 3, 3, 333, where's my, dang, I haven't seen 333 on the clock in a minute, low key. But yeah, that kind of hurt my viewing a little bit because I really wanted to start the upload before I went to bed. But it looks like I'm not gonna be able to do that because I don't want to wait up for it because it's already 3.33 a.m. And I already know, and oh, that's so lame because now I'm gonna have to get up early and start the upload because I would like the video to be up tomorrow. You know, I don't know. It kind of just seems par for the course that something would be fudged up at this stage in the game for me. But it's probably for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Because I also had the thought about changing my upload schedule. I mean, it's not, I can't really call it an upload schedule given that I only upload typically once a week. But I guess it's still a schedule because I upload on Saturdays. But I'm thinking about changing it to Mondays. So that way I'll have the full weekend to edit. And also, I think more people are like, sitting at home watching TV when they get off work on Monday, then people are sitting at home watching TV like during the day on Saturday. Cause I feel like that's like people's errand running day or like people have things to do on Saturdays. But I don't know, that's just a theory I have not tested. Grant just told me he made it home. Wonderful. What was I talking about? Oh, changing my upload schedule. Yeah, I think that might be the move, maybe. And actually, this might force me to do that. I don't, th I really hope it would not take 48 hours for this video to upload. But that wouldn't be the first time, unfortunately. So if it forces me to change my uploads to Mondays, I guess that wouldn't be the worst thing. Because like, in theory, to get to Mondays, the first week I would just have to push the upload back two days. It's not like I'm trying to push it back a whole week. But in theory, that would push it back an entire week. I would be starting a new vlog the day that my vlog is going up. So I'd then be like three weeks behind, or I guess two weeks behind as opposed to one week. I don't know. All of these are just possibilities, thoughts and thoughts and options. I need to go to bed, to be honest. Wanted to read, still didn't read any today. I did do a little bit of Spanish. Did I tell you that, that I started Duolingo? Did I? I don't know if I filled y'all in on that. Because one of my goals for the fast, like it's written on my board in the office, is to refresh my Spanish. And I have started. And actually I had an opportunity to like test it out. And I did not take it. Because two of the girls that were out with the group for Grant's birthday, they were the wives of two guys that were there, were actually both like Mexican and from Mexico and like speak fluent Spanish. And I could have, you know, tried, but the Spanish that I'm refreshing myself on right now, I don't think would have been suitable for like in-depth conversation. And that's like the kind, of, the kind of conversation we were trying to have. Like, I'm not trying to ask them, hi, how are you? Do you own a suitcase? Like, you know, <laughs> that's not really the conversations I'm trying to have. But I know I do still need to like practice conversationally. Like, I could have got, hola, que tal? Como te amas? You know, that's about all I got for you. Yeah. Uh, yo quiero... How, you, how would you even say cheese curds? Because that's what I had. I had cheese curds. Curds de queso. <laughs> I don't know how you say curds in Spanish. <gasps> now that I'm laying down, I'm... Oh, well. Um... I don't know. Yeah, that's why... I, like, I genuinely feel like I had a drink. Or, like that I smoked even maybe. And it's possible that I got like second hand from a pen that one of Grant's friends was hitting, but like really, honestly not really. I did get one good inhale of it, like when he blew it out at one point, cause he was like standing right across from me. And I was like, hmm, interesting. I wonder if I'm gonna feel that. But I don't think I would. And also that was like, 
probably three and a half hours ago. <laughs> so, whatever I'm feeling right now is placebo. But I will say, I kind of enjoy going out sober, I think. Like, not I think, I know I enjoy it, but I can't say that I intentionally do it if I was not fasting. Because I did enjoy it. Like, it was still fun. I still danced. Grant danced. Y'all saw a little clip of that. I should, I really cut that clip off too early because he, he switched moves right after I stopped recording. But that was one of his goals. He wanted to, he wanted to dance tonight and he danced. Oh, did he dance. And he kept asking me like what I think of his dancing. And I like, I don't think he's a bad dancer. I just think that he is the type of dancer that draws a lot of attention. And I don't necessarily know how I feel about that. Like, I mean, I know how I feel about it. Like, I don't care because it's not attention on me. It's attention on him. But, like, I could see other people potentially. Like, if he... Because, you know, his, his goal is to Mac. And I feel like some, some women would like to be maybe a little bit inconspicuous. Not that you cannot be inconspicuous. Uh, if, if, if you are there to dance and Grant is the person you're dancing with because he likes to dance and he wants to boogie okay <laughs> which is not a bad thing I, more people should dance and dance freely <laughs> I really feel mildly intoxicated and that's crazy to me and maybe that's like a good thing I don't know like, because I know I am sober, like, as the judge. <laughs> I am as sober as sober could be. I have not had any form of alcoholic beverage or weed since November 30th. How much of me can you see? Ugh. I wish I had a mic. I don't. I think we're going to mismatch shorts and this shirt. Alright. Good night. Good morning, y'all. It looks like my day is not going to go at all how I planned it. Both of my parents are on their way out here and I think they're like 25 minutes away from my house and I just woke up and they both have been calling me all morning. Whew! Alright. I am so glad I didn't drink last night because that, I... Like, I was out all night, but I'm not hungover. That would really be a problem. But, yeah, I need to get it together. I would like to straighten up a little bit. I'm kind of shook. But I just wanted to give y'all that little fill-in, just in case, you know, y'all don't really see much of anything today. <laughs> but my dad is coming out here to take me and my mom Christmas shopping for our Christmas gifts. Because, you know, he's not running for surprises, to be honest. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I gotta, like, I haven't even brushed my teeth yet. Like, I literally saw that I missed three FaceTimes from my mom and had two voicemails from my dad and immediately called my dad back because he, like, in the voicemail, he told me to call him back. And now I'm here. So, I gotta get my life together. <laughs>
was saying. Um, he said he's so glad that she knows us now and that she's close. Or just put it in a nice bag. How about that? Ribbon, tie it. You got that? This one is going to who? No, I don't. Oh. Watching a game? But you don't have to hear it. Just look, just look at it, huh? All right. Oh, that ain't it. Take a damn step. Oh. <laughs> that was. Oh. Is that a bag? Oh. It's a red paper. What are you talking about, Mom? Yes, yeah, here. No. She's going to run out of sleep or something. Yeah. I have another roll back there. I think I stuffed this in here last year from like leftovers that I had maybe. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah I did. These were my scraps from last year. <laughs> well you got more if you want to put them in there. Do you want to? Well now that the roll was empty, I'm not keeping the roll. I'll put them in a different oh. one. Okay. Oh. Stay tuned. Oh. 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 My girl, she waits. Yeah. I don't want to be foolish. I got a good thing going on. Yeah, I'm to lose it. I can't stay too long. Oh, no. I got to keep moving. Yeah. Hear me now, baby. I got to move. 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 I hope the music in the background don't do nothing. Um, I'm playing a Christmas vinyl right now because my parents just left. Y'all just saw that me and my mom were wrapping gifts. I think my camera died before my parents started dancing. They were they were dancing uh, in the area where we were wrapping gifts, where it would have been inside of the camera, but I'm pretty sure my camera was dead by then. It has been a beautiful, unexpected day. My dad came to do his Christmas shopping, and he did it. Um, <laughs> I picked out a 
technically it's a pinky ring, but it's not. It wasn't supposed to be a pinky ring. They just it was a ring I really liked that they only had in the size that fit my pinky. And then I also got a dress to wear for New Year's, but I let them take both of those things to be wrapped for Christmas. And then I also got a. I think I showed you the Jackson Five Christmas vinyl. That was what we were listening to at first, and now we're just listening to. Well, I'm because they're gone now. They just left. Um, listening to the Motown One's Christmas vinyl. We did end up. Well, me and my mom after the ball. We went and got Mexican food. I had two chicken tacos. My mom had two steak milanesa tacos. And my dad had a carna carne asada dinner. But while we were getting that, it was actually in the same uh, plaza as the record store that's near my house. So me and my mom ran in there. Originally, I had two vinyls in my hand because my dad had given me $20 to spend. Um, <laughs> but then I saw something that I had seen in there. The last time I was in there, which is this five terabyte uh, external hard drive, I have the two terabyte version of this same hard drive, actually like right here. I have it right here, and then I have this passport one. I really didn't want the passport one because, like, with a hard drive, if you damage it, whatever is on it is wiped, which is why this has like the rugged rubbery exterior to kind of protect it and I really wanted one of those but when I got that one that that one wasn't available and I needed space and it turns out that the reason none of my stuff is exporting for the vlog for this week is because I am out of storage at least on my computer but this my that silver hard drive I just showed you has more than enough space for what I'm trying to export but it wouldn't export so I really don't know what that's about. Uh, I'm kind of like frustrated a little bit with the vlog, but you know, I'm trying to, you know, it's like, it's fine, honestly, since I already kind of wanted to change my upload schedule anyway, which is what I was meant like talking about last night. I'm kind of looking at it as, you know, maybe some divine interference here, trying to get me to change my upload schedule. But, I don't know, it's kind of frustrating. Also, I'm kind of like at a loss now for how to spend my evening. Because I really thought that like my whole day would just be dedicated to doing the things I need to do. Maybe I'll wash my hair. That would be productive. Wash my hair and then maybe start decluttering and like organizing my kitchen because those are the things I wanted to do today and I don't think because I was hoping that I would get to multiple rooms today but I think I'd be able to get through my kitchen in a reasonable amount of time it's only 8 30 right now what is happening why can't it's not giving me the option to export okay thanks YouTube and Facebook 22 gigs. I know this is a large file, but like I've exported files this large before. Let me make sure what my memory is looking like on that. Storage changed. Okay, I was gonna say. Wait, no, for real though. Who changed? There is apparently some room left on my computer. But not really? Like, what's going on? It's saying I'm using 199 gigs out of 245. And what I'm trying to export is 22. There should be space for that. Yeah, and I still have, like, a, over a terabyte left on this other one. This is really confusing to me in a frustrating way. But there is an update for my computer. Maybe I'll do this update... I'm gonna go ahead and come on, hold on, hold on, cancel. 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 Excellent. Is it gonna close? Is it gonna break? Don't break, if you don't mind. Yeah, something is off. Let's open it actually. Wait, is, oh, I was gonna say, is this unopened? But no, it is not unopened. And that's the thing, it is used. Like, this was a, 
it's resale, but it looks like there's like everything is in here. Maybe they just opened it and didn't use it. Oh, look, I, I know maybe the cord's in this part. Yeah, this is giving brand new, low key. Like, the cords are literally still wrapped. But I got the store, the place that I got them from is a resale store. I am kind of shook at the newness of this. Like everything is here. Nothing is, is this, is this like actually a, that, that's crazy. Like the more memory, like this thing is actually larger than the other one. I don't want to like unplug it because that makes things kind of get funky. Now it's time to get funky. But here's the, this is the two terabyte. You can see how thick that is. And this is the five terabyte. Like, look at the difference. That's, that's really crazy to me, actually. Hmm. I didn't realize, like, size actually is, like, correlated with the size of the memory. I feel like you typically think like memory is invisible basically so why does it need to be bigger but this is heavy interesting i'm glad i have this though let's see because i paid i paid well this it was a hundred dollars my dad had given me 20 so i used his 20 and then my mom offered to pay for half of it with me like as a christmas gift so really i'm basically out of pocket well I don't know if she considers half, like half of what came out of my pocket or half of the total, but probably half of the total. So really I'm out of pocket like $30 for this, but how much typically, let's see, where's my, here's my phone. Five terabyte Lacey external hard drive. Five TB, oh my keyboard's in Spanish, Lacey. Well, I guess it wasn't that much cheaper, kind of. It's regular 180 so it was like $80 cheaper. So maybe it is brand new. Interesting. This is two terabyte one. It's 500 I mean, it's not 500 it's $100. And the five terabyte is only $60 more. That's interesting. Interesting. Somewhere between 163 and 180 is the typical price according to Google. Okay, so what about the two terabyte? Okay, but yeah, the two terabytes is actually 110 at Best Buy. Yeah, it's like 110. But $100 for five terabytes is, I would say, a, gr a good deal. Let's just look generally. How much is a five terabyte external hard drive? Five TB. I'm supposed to be updating my, my computer. Oh, come on, come back. I'm actually like really sleepy. I don't know why. Cause I slept till almost noon. Okay. Sixty views on the short I shorts miss day sixteen. Twelve days of Christmas day three. My mom actually was in this one today. <laughs> that was unexpected, I would say. But well, this whole day was unexpected. So I guess that's just that kind of comes with the territory. I'm actually like sleepy. And the crazy thing is, like, I have the desire to, like, lay on the couch with the TV on. But I don't want to watch anything, really. Like, because I'm not going to watch YouTube. And the crazy... Actually, so my dad was, like, he was watching my TV and he put on YouTube. But he was watching the news at one point and then he played some music. And, up like, YouTube has updated since I, since I like, left. Like, the ads look different. The skip button is different. Like, thing, it's crazy that I've, I've been gone from YouTube for a little over two weeks. And it's, like, different. <laughs> I don't know. That was weird. I kind of could have done without knowing that or seeing that. But it's okay. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's kind of weird to me, though, that I haven't been gone that long and things are already changing. Times is hard. And things are changing. I pray to God that we can remain the same. 
All I'm trying to say is our love don't have to change. No, it don't have to change. That's one of my favorite John Legend songs. <laughs> That's even. How sweet of them to give you the option for USB-C to USB-C and USB-C to USB. Is it A? Regular USB? Is USB-A? Is that what it is? What does it say? Oh, USB 3.0. Oh, I feel like I'm just rambling. I don't know why I have the camera on, to be honest. I just wanted to, you know, let you know that my parents left. And that we had a great day. And I am, I don't know, it feels weird to be alone now, actually. It doesn't feel bad, but it does feel weird. Having not been alone all day. And, like, not been alone with people that I'm used to, you know, sharing a space with. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off because I know that clip of us wrapping gifts is like two hours long. Maybe I'll get to read y'all that those questions from thinking we're rich at some point, but I guess that won't be right now. Ow. I need, what, give me your opinion on this, audience, friends, weigh in. My dad is taught, was, taught, told me I was letting myself go because I no longer like line up the back of my neck. Obviously, I can't see the back of my neck, so I don't really be knowing what it looks like. But my hair back here grows a decent length. Like, if I really were to leave it alone, I can, like, you know, brush it up and it'll go up into something. Like, if I braid it or something, it'll go up. Like, yes, there are, like, peach fuzzes and stuff on the side here, but I'm not, like, I'm not overly concerned about that, you know? Like, I mean... Not that, like, it's a racial thing, but, like, white people ain't out here lining their necks up. Why I gotta line mine up? I don't wanna see the difference. They have the little peach fuzz baby hairs back here. Why can't I have them? <laughs> like, yeah, like, the ones that beat up, those are the ones that grow out long enough for me to brush up. And actually, this side isn't even as bad as far as, like, the peach fuzz goes. Like, there's really no peach fuzz on this side. All my peach fuzz happens over here. And it's like very fine, actually. I don't even know if y'all can see what I'm showing you. This is for me as well, what I'm editing, so I can actually see what the back of my neck looks like, because I don't really look back here very often. I don't know. Here's the other side. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think. I mean, not that it's probably really going to sway my decision because I stopped getting the line when I moved out of my parents' house almost a year and a half ago. So I don't think I intend to go back to doing that. And then you have to keep it up. Because it's going to grow back in and then you're going to have stubble in the back of your neck. It just doesn't strike me as something I desire. Stubble on the back of my neck. All right, I'm actually going to turn the camera off now. <laughs> Good morning. I can say that because it is currently 11.34 a.m. I am about, I just got out of the shower. I did wash my hair. That's why I have this turban towel situation on. And I'm about to do, today I'm accomplishing the things I was supposed to accomplish yesterday, <laughs> basically. So, the first thing on that list is finishing Think and Grow Rich. And the next thing I have to read are those questions that I keep harping on. And we're about to go through them. We'll, depending on what the questions are, you might get to hear my answers. Otherwise, I am going to say them out loud because the book recommends that you say them out loud. But I will probably, if I don't want to share what my answers are, you're going to get some cuts basically where my answers come out. <laughs> but I have my notebook here. I'm gonna kind of a lot of stuff on my desk. But it is what it is. Put my phone over there. Let's see, today is the 17th. I need my phone, I guess. Yes. 12, 17, 23. And this is the Think and Grow Rich Fear Self Analysis. Is that what this is? Yeah, that's what I'll call it. Think and grow rich fears self analysis. 
and the questions are not numbered. So we're just gonna start with we're gonna I'm going to number them. But there's a lot of questions here, actually. There are one, basically like five and a quarter pages of questions. <laughs> so, number one, do you complain often of feeling bad? And if so, what is the cause? Okay, number two, do you find fault with other people at the slightest provocation? Three, do you frequent, frequently make mistakes in your work? And if so, why? Are you sarcastic and offensive in your conversation? Number four. All right, number five. Okay. Do you deliberately avoid the association of anyone? And if so, why? Six. Do you suffer frequently with indigestion? If so, what is the, the cause? Seven. Does life seem futile and the future hopeless to you? If so, why? And eight. Do you like your occupation? If not, why? Do you often feel self-pity? And if so, why? To which do you devote most time? Thinking of success or of failure? Are you gaining or losing self-confidence as you grow older? Do you learn something of value from all mistakes? Are you permitting some relatives or acquaintances to worry you? If so, why? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Are you sometimes in the clouds and at other times in the depth of despondency? Interesting. I think I need to look up what despondency means. Yeah, to in low spirits and loss of hope or courage. Who has the most inspiring influence upon you? What is the cause? Okay, do you tolerate negative or discouraging influences which you can avoid? Are you careless of your personal appearance? If so, when and why? Have you learned how to drown your troubles by being too busy to be annoyed by them? Would you call yourself a spineless weakling if you permitted others to do your thinking for you? Do you neglect internal, internal bathing? Do you ne neglect internal bathing until auto intoxication makes you ill tempered and irritable? Uh, like, I guess taking care of your insides? In internal bathing. Is that like fasting? Like, what? Internal bathing? Fill a bathtub with about three to four inches of warm water, soak in the tub for up to 20 minutes making sure your private area is covered with water and adding more water as needed to keep it warm. Do not, don't add shower gel, bubble bath, or any type of soap. Don't scrub or rub the area. Interesting. So internal bathing is literally just soaking in warm water. Do you neglect internal bathing until auto intoxication makes you ill-tempered and irritable? Uh, how many preventable disturbances annoy you and why do you tolerate them? Do you resort to liquor, narcotics, or cigarettes to quiet the nerves? If so, why do you not try willpower instead? LOL, that's kind of a shots fired. Does anyone nag you? And if so, for what reason? Do you have a definite major purpose? And if so, what is it? And what plans have you for achieving it? Do you suffer from any of the six basic fears? If so, which ones? Have you... A method by which you can shield yourself against the negative influence of others. Do you make deliberate use of auto-suggestion to make your mind positive? Which do you value most? Your material possessions or your privilege of controlling your own thoughts? Ooh. Ooh. Are you easily influenced by others against your own judgments? Do you face squarely the circumstances which make you unhappy or sidestep the responsibility? Do you analyze all mistakes and failures and try to profit by them? Or do you take the attitude of this is not your duty? Can you name three of your most damaging weaknesses? What are you doing to correct them? Do you encourage other people to bring their worries to you for sympathy? 
Do you choose from your daily experiences lessons or influence which aid in your personal advancement? Does your presence have a negative influence on other people as a rule? What habits of other people annoy you most? Do you form your own opinions or permit yourself to be influenced by other people? Does your occupation inspire you with faith and hope? Are you conscious of possessing spiritual forces of sufficient power to enable you to keep your mind free from all forms of fear? Does your religion help you keep your own mind positive? Do you feel it your duty to share other people's worries? If so, why? If you believe that birds of a feather flock together, what have you learned about yourself by studying the friends whom you attract? What connection, if any, do you see between the people with whom you associate most closely and any unhappiness that you may experience? Could it be possible that some person whom you consider to be a friend is, in reality, your worst enemy because of his negative influence on your mind? Are your intimate associates mentally superior or inferior to you? How much time out of every 24 hours do you devote to A, your occupation, B, sleep, C, play and relaxation, D, acquiring useful knowledge, and E, plain waste? Who among your acquaintances a. Encourage you most. B. Cautions you most. C. Discourages you most. D. Helps you most in other ways. What is your greatest worry? Why do you tolerate it? When others offer you free, unsolicited advice, do you accept it without question or analyze their motives? What above all else do you most desire? Do you intend to acquire it? Are you willing to subordinate all other desires for this one? How much time daily do you vote, devote to acquiring it? Do you change your mind often? If so, why? Do you usually finish everything you begin? Are you easily impressed by other people's business or professional titles, college degrees, or wealth? Are you easily influenced by what other people think or say of you? Do you cater to people because of their social or financial status? Whom do you believe to be the greatest person living? In what respect is this person superior to yourself? How much time have you devoted to studying and answering these questions? At least one day is necessary for the analysis and the answering of the entire list. I need to take 24 hours? I mean, how long has this been? I've taken 49 minutes. And I think that's a reasonable amount of time. But yeah, that's all, those are all the questions. I don't know. I don't know if... Well, I'm, as a lot of those were like thinkers, and uh, hopefully y'all took the time to think about or say out loud your answers to these questions. I don't know if I'm going to cut around my answers. It might be helpful for me to cut around my answers so that you can, you know, share your answers without being influenced by what I have to say. But we'll see. We'll see what, what happens. Maybe I'll, I will cut around the answers and then post separately what my answers were. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to finish reading and then I'm going to eat. And then, yeah, because I only have like a couple of pages left. That's crazy. All right. Yeah. I'll check in with y'all eventually. I think I'm going to start organizing my kitchen after I eat too. Because I want my hair to dry a little bit before I start twisting. And I need to call Jasmine back. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I This phrase right here. His decision to trust his own judgment has already piled up a fortune far greater than the next five generations of his descendants can squander. Mood. have trans transpired since I last spoke to you. The last thing y'all saw was me reorganizing my cabinets, 
I only did the ones that actually had like edible things in them. I still have to do all the cabinets on this side and on the bottom. Um, by this side, I mean behind the camera. And uh, did my hair. I did some mini twists that aren't as many as I would have liked them to be, but many enough that they're, you know, wearable as a style. I don't know. I feel, I don't really, I never really like the way I look when as soon as they're done and they're like, not stiff, but like, you know, you can't flip them for real because they want to go the direction they were sitting when you twisted them, but that's fine. But I also went to Target, as you saw, twice because they forgot one of my bags and then when I went back to get the bag they forgot, they did not have the bag. Like, I went to the register first and was like, hey, did I leave a bag here? She's like, yeah, it's at guest services. Went to guest services. Lady looked three different times and could not find it. So she ended up just telling me, you know, she's like, I could give you a refund. And I was like, well, I still want the stuff. And she was like, okay, well, and then she like went up and talked to her manager. She's like, yeah, you can just go get whatever you were missing. I'm like, okay, do I have to come back? She was like, no, because then it'll be a line and I don't want you to have to wait. And, you know, you've already been through enough. And I'm like, okay, well, can I have a bag? She's like, yeah, here. So I basically just walked up to the, because it was all produce that I was missing. And I'm still missing one thing because I forgot that that was a thing that I bought, even though I had the receipt in my hand. But it was so jarring being in a store, throwing things in a bag and not going to the register with them. I felt very uncomfortable. So... I forgot an item, but I got, I think, almost everything. Uh, I did come home first when they first forgot my bag so I could put two things in the refrigerator. I got cottage cheese because you already know what's up. And then I got a dented carrot cake cupcake the bag that they forgot is technically this bag but it's missing an item so I got some baby spinach that was left behind a Caesar chopped salad and some mini sweet peppers because you know what's up that's actually gonna be my dinner the peppers with mustard and cottage cheese that's that's gonna be the dinner and then there the item that I am missing unfortunately oh it just says vegetable but it was brussels sprouts i had gotten brussels sprouts too but i don't have them and they were i think like three four yep three dollars and fifty cents down the drain i'm really not as upset as i probably maybe even should be but i am more like frustrated and kind of irritated like i'm not upset but i'm just irritated that i had to go back <coughs> And slightly more irritated that I went back and they didn't even have the, like I literally was back in the store within 15 minutes of checking out where did the bag go like what I don't know I don't I really don't know oh but I also got some grape juice and some apple juice a bottle of distilled white vinegar i actually got these to wash my brussels or got this to wash my brussels sprouts or clean them but uh no brussels sprouts and then i got two rolls of scotch tape because i went through two rolls of scotch tape yesterday when my mom and i were wrapping gifts so i had to re-up yeah that's everything i got i'm about to eat these peppers and call my mom and i don't know i feel like i've done a lot today but I don't know, this, la this little setback is really making me feel like I just wasted my time. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, I, and I'm even, I was even proud of myself. Hold on. I'm going to say, I was even proud of myself for only getting, like, necessities at Target. Like, I really didn't even look around. And then the time that I, you know, do well, I am punished. I'm kidding. That's, I don't mean it. I know I'm not punished. But, like... This was just a really irritating experience. And I kind of have a headache, but it's because I'm hungry. All I've eaten today was half a, ta a taco. Like a leftover taco from last night. I had half of it left. And that's all I've eaten. And then I like 
bit some cornbread before I threw it away because it was a bunch in my refrigerator. And I cleaned out my refrigerator before I left for Target. I was about to say I feel like I'm having a pity party and I was just talking about how I don't feel like I typically have self-pity and I don't think that's what I'm experiencing right now. It's more just irritation with the entire situation. I'm not really pitying myself, just irritated that any of it happened. But yeah, I'm a... Ooh, I probably should just close out the vlog, huh? It is Sunday. I haven't really... I don't... I feel... I don't really like ending it on this note. But it's... 7 p.m. on Sunday so really it is the end of the vlog. I don't think I'm going to do anything else worth showing you. I'm probably going to start a new book tonight and I'll just share that with you in next week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed spending the week with me. I hope you enjoyed getting those little excerpts from Thinking Go Grow Rich. Maybe they you know triggered you to think about some things or you know think in general. I don't know. Think and grow rich. You know think. <laughs> yeah that's really all I got for you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you never forget to... What? Did I just mess up my own outro? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you never miss another video from me. But until next time, love y'all. Peace.